Hey everybody, the Bongas here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Axe Battler, a legend of Golden Axe for the Sega Game Gear. Long, long ago, the gods gave a gift to mortals. This gift was the Golden Axe. Legends say that the world will bow down to whoever takes the axe in hand. Countless battles took place among mortals to gain possession of the axe. Finally, the king became full of sorrow and hid the axe deep in his castle where no one could find it, except for the people that lived in the castle. Peace once again returned to the world. After many years had passed and the name of the axe was forgotten, an army of evil warriors destroyed the castle and stole the golden axe. The peace-loving king called on a young warrior to regain the axe. In doing so, he entrusted the fate of, a, of the world to the warrior. Guided by love and courage, the warrior started on his lonely journey. Yeah, I actually heard of this game months ago when I was looking for games to Let's Play. And I came across this and it does have quite a quite an appeal. Despite the Game Gear not being an appealing handheld at the time. Well, this game was made in 1992. So I was probably six years old at the time. So yeah, it does have some Zelda 2 elements and minor RPG elements, even though I wouldn't call this an RPG at all. If anything, it's more like Zelda 2. So I'm going to start a new game because, well, I can. Crash! Thump! It's the enemy! They're attacking! Clash! Bang! Save the Golden Axe! Protect it with your lives! Your Majesty! Something terrible has happened! I must report that le the legendary Golden Axe has been stolen by the evil army! Oh no! This is dreadful news! The world will fall to pieces with the Golden Axe in the wrong hands! Somebody! Summon the only man who can save us! Call Axe Battler! Yes, that's the best name they can come up with for a hero. Your Majesty, I already know what I must do. I must get the Golden Axe back from the evil army and restore peace to our world. So long. So of course you can move with the D-pad, you can press A to talk, item, or search. Of course nothing was found. And I have nothing in my inventory. You press start and go to your magic, which you can use with the help of vases. So there you go. I want to go to the city that I can see to the south of the cave, but it's surrounded by mountains. Okay, so I have to find a town and it's surrounded by mountains. How the hell am I supposed to get there? I want to play outside of the castle, but they won't let me because there are strange creatures outside. It's so boring in here. Oh, come on. A castle is very exciting. You can, uh, you can play ball or jump rope, um... Bike ride him. Look at the floor. You wanna do that? I am so worried about you that I don't know what to do. Please return to us safely. Um, I'm sure you can think of something to do, but it requires batteries. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, seriously, get a game gear, you know, they don't last long though, but you'll have something heavy to hold. It's important to ask many questions before an adventure. There is sure to be new information in the towns you visit. Even one surrounded by mountains? I'm surprised there are actually people that inhabit that place. I have heard that horrible enemies lie in wait outside the castle. Please be careful. Okay, what Jolly Mr. Clean just said, he wasn't kidding. You will run into a lot of enemies here. Unlike Zelda 2, where you can know if there are enemies, in Axe Battler, however, you don't have that luxury. This is the castle of the Kingdom of Firewood. Leave the defense of this castle to us. Firewood? This place's name is Firewood? Far to the east of this castle, there's a creepy cave. I wonder what's in there. Creepy stuff. Yeah, see here's the thing. You can wander around for a good while, and you'll find plenty of encounters. Like, I was lucky enough to not have any encounters until then. Sometimes you won't be so lucky. 
You may have encounters every one or two steps. The enemy was destroyed. Axe Battler found one magic vases. Yeah, they don't program it for singular. Instead of one magic vase, you go with one magic vases. Case in point. I only took like two moves there. I'm guessing the turn counted as a move. Yeah, you're going to be seeing that a lot, unfortunately. Okay, now let's go in the cave. We have battles, and of course there are bats, which I hate. Skeletons aren't so bad. You don't want to move too fast, otherwise a bat will hit you in the face. Luckily, they're combustible. Turns out all enemies are... Even the skeleton is made out of fire. Oh, I, oh, I thought I got hit there. Apparently those Lotus Volcano ripoffs didn't have a chance. Okay, good, I didn't get hit by the snake. So trek wisely, and you won't get hit so much. When I practiced this, I was pretty careless, and I got hit by almost every bat. Sometimes they're very difficult to avoid. Just gotta watch the ceiling carefully, because that's where they're roosting. Oh, turns out I had to make that jump to get to the treasure chest. Oh, guess I'll have to go back. Sadly, the enemies respawn. Good thing the bat was facing the other way. Okay, make a jump! And once you get the treasure, you automatically leave. Yes, there was a bomb in the cave. Somebody decided to put a bomb at the end of a cave. I don't know why. I don't know who. But let's just say it's there. Why? Why not? Because it's Sega. Uh, see the town? Yeah, it is surrounded by mountains. I'm running into a barbarians. We run into Amazons, too, and skeletons as well. Trust me, the skeletons will fuck you up if you are not careful. And whenever you see a bridge, you have an automatic encounter. And it's usually against a very tough enemy. Sadly, I cannot skip this text. Okay, I'm bound to run into a skeleton, so I'm gonna back away. See, they hurt you a lot. Whenever you take a hit, you're out of the battle. I mean, it's a nice touch. I still would've liked to win, though. Just to get some vases. Okay. Okay, I'm almost at the first town. All I have to do is deal with the enemy on this bridge, which I assume is another... No, it's a barbarian this time. Okay, I thought it was another skeleton, but I'm not complaining. Okay, I go to my items, select the bomb, towards the mountain, and now the mountain's gone. Finally in my first village. This is the city of Firewood! Who are you? How did you get here? Well, I went in this random cave and somebody stashed a bomb. I got hit in the face with a bat, got my ass kicked by a skeleton, I threw a bomb at the mountain, the entire mountain blows up, and well, here I am. How you doing? I'm gonna go to the inn first. You can rest here. Do you want a room? Uh, no, I just came to look at the table. Four magic vases! You bitch. What are you gonna do with vases anyway? You don't know how to use magic. Okay, I still have four vases, which is a good thing. Okay, let's see what's in this house. Can I talk to you from here? Oh, no, that's not even a counter. Duh, it's a wall. How was I supposed to know? Maybe there was a hole in the wall. If you go through training, you can gain new powers. But I've heard that it's really tough. I'm sure it is, but I'll do it anyway because I could use some new abilities. Hey, baby. This is the place where you can learn the password to bring you back to life. If you memorize it, it's sure to come in handy someday. 
Password, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 16 characters. Okay, that's a little something for you to remember on your own. I heard that you blew up a whole mountain. Now I can travel to other cities. Thank you. Yes, I blew up an entire mountain. Only in this game that I know of, I can say that. And I can't go in that house. Have you been to the tower on the peninsula? If you plan to go there, you should go through training first. Okay, so there's a tower to the west? Eh, I'll go check it out soon. Instead, why don't we give training a try? Unfortunately, I have to go around that woman. This is a place where you can train to gain special powers. Do you want to go through training? Okay. Go inside the room. And then I gotta fight an enemy. And it's a Neo-Barbarian. Ow. Unfortunately, I got hit. What a jump! You asshole. I'm gonna try it again. I am definitely gonna win. I'm gonna save so I don't have to use up all my money. Or all my vases. That's better! Now let's see what ability I get. Well done! You've passed. I'll give you a special power. This is the high jump power. Push the lever up and you will be able to jump high in the air. What lever? The Game Gear has a D-pad! <sighs> Whatever. Well, at least we know what he means. Good thing I can use that high jump anytime. Okay, now we're fighting a skeleton. I can just spam this. Whenever he jumps, he keeps slashing. And that makes him wide open. And you get two vases from him. Okay, so they said there was a tower west of the peninsula. So I guess I go this way. At least I won't get to the edge of the screen or get cornered. One magic vase, alright. Okay, this tower looking thing is the tower. Let's go. Ow. Now be careful here because those statues actually come to life and attack you. And I'm thinking I'm going to need to hope that I don't die. And I died. Oh, that's just great. It's too soon to give up. You want to continue? Yes. And I lose all my vases. Whenever you die, I think you lose all your vases. Or is it only a small portion of them? But here, I lost them all. So I'm going to stop the video here, and next part, I'll meet you back at the tower, and hopefully I don't screw it up. Goodbye, everyone.